All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 13 minus three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as three to the power of 12 plus one minus three. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get three to the power of 12 times three to the power of one minus three. And from here, I can factor out three. So I get three times three to the power of 12 minus one. Now three to the power of 12, I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of six times two. And that's equal to three times three to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into three times 729 plus one times 729 minus one. This is equal to 730 times 728. So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to three times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to three times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation 100 to the power of x is equal to 400. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log of base 100 on both sides. So I get log base 100 of 100 to the power of x is equal to log base 100 of 400. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So I can move this x to the front, and the log base of 100 and 100, these two cancel out, so my left-hand side I have x is equal to log base 100, and I'm going to rewrite 400 as 4 times 100. So now I get x is equal to log base 100 of 4 plus log base 100 of 100, which cancels out to get 1. So I get x is equal to log base 100 of 4 plus 1. Now, log base 100 of 4 is the same thing as log of 4 over log of 100. Now, log of 4 I can rewrite as log of 2 squared, and then I can move the 2 to the front. And log of 100 I can rewrite as log of 10 squared, and I can move the 2 to the front. So now I get 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 10 which these two twos cancel out, and log of 10 is just one. So I get log of two plus one, which is equal to 0 0.3010 plus one, which is equal to 1.3010.